location. In operating rooms and hospital wards across the country, this would have been Mercy Hospital in Canton, Ohio, physicians and other help, my, my story I mean, health providers typically help one another in patient care, but it is an increasingly common practice that some medical experts call drive-by doctoring. Assistants, consultants, and other hospital employees are charging patients or their insurers hefty fees. They may, they may be called in when the need of them is questionable. Oftentimes, they're not needed at all. And patients usually do not realize that they have been involved or have been charging until the bill arrives. And I can tell you from firsthand experience that's true. Again, we got the story of a, a million dollars racked up from somebody who lived 11 months and were charged a million dollars for their care. And again, approximately 41% of all working age Americans either have medical bill problems or are currently paying off medical debt. Friends, I'll tell you what, I can use all the strippers I want to and I promise you I can't afford that kind of a bill. God forbid if something like that ever falls upon me, my insurance will not especially now that Obama has ruined my insurance, I had to be wiped. That's the America we live in, friends. That's what we're seeing every day now. That's the new normal. That's what nobody seems to care about. And uh, hopefully me doing these videos and things like that will make you look into it. Again, it's not about whether or not you like the show, like me. It doesn't even matter whether you like Christelle. Although if you don't, I think you were blind. What matters is that this news is coming up. And then it matters. Guys, all of you know, of course, we do have the dumb D of the day. I'm going to do something different today, though. I'm going to give to you the anti dumb D. I've never had an anti dumb D before. I wish uh, that Christelle was in the same room right now because it should be like, whoa, 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 what's an anti dumb D? Never done an anti dumb D. Well, I am now. Talk about making a wrong right. Kudos, Arizona mayor. Arizona, an Arizona Coyotes fan uses a stun gun on the mayor for charity. This, my friends, is awesome. Glendale, California, June 15th. An Arizona Coyotes fan that was upset with her mayor for terminating the team's lease agreement took out her frustration by tasing the official for charity. Rhonda Pearson used a taser on Glendale Mayor Jerry Weirs at a local small Saturday after she and fellow Coyotes fans raised $10,000 Weirs sought for a charity benefiting first responders. Pearson became a local hero to Coyotes fans. That's one way to get yourself in office. I guess he wasn't shocked by it. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, it was a hero to Coyote. That's all I got. It was a hero to Coyotes fans after she gave an impassioned speech to the city council in response to its Wednesday vote to end the city's arena lease agreement with the Coyotes. The termination was temporarily halted by a judge on Friday. Weirs was examined for medical team for the stun gun to ensure that he was not injured. In other words, if they raised ten thousand dollars to get the lease renewed, the mayor would allow it to happen. And he let himself get tasered just so that could happen. You know what? That's caring about your city. That's caring about your constituents. And you, Mayor, got the first anti dumdy of the day. And that brings us, of course, to who wins the dumdy of the day. Oh, there's the music. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah. The dumb, 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 diddy, dumb, diddy, dumb, dumb, dumb of the day. Goes to the New York Mets. New York Mets dress like prison inmates to promote gun control. Now, never mind, of course, that they are kept safe from obsessed fans and uh, other nefarious people. By a veritable army of people armed, security guards, cops, private uh, protection, bodyguards, whatever. Guns out the ass to keep them safe. But you, listening to this, should not be allowed to keep yourself safe. And before you say, well, uh, they need to because they're famous. First of all, I challenge uh, five people to name five Mets players. You have no idea. Neither do I. 
They're not that big. They don't get stocked that often. And second of all, if you think that only celebrities get stocked, even if they are that famous, tell that to your average rape victim. In other words, these people can protect themselves, but you shouldn't be allowed to protect yourself. And that's why they're getting the freaking dumb deal of the day. Nearly every player on the New York Mets baseball team, who I hope get their ass handed to them this year, just for this, go Yankees, I never thought I'd say it, dressed in orange like prison inmates to promote gun control. Well, that's a different division. I guess it would be go Reds. The political movement that would practically turn Americans into a disarmed prison population. And of course, now I don't have to vote for the Yankees. Yay! The Mets posed in orange for a photo tweeted on Tuesday in support of Gun Violence Awareness Day, which is sponsored by Michael Bloomberg's Every Town for Gun Safety. Michael Bloomberg, you think it's okay to stop and frisk people for doing nothing more than walking down the street. He thinks uh, he should be allowed to dictate when and how much Mountain Dew you're allowed to buy. That Mayor Bloomberg. The New York Mets, who gets the numdy of the day, became the first pro sports franchise to join the campaign. And will today release a photo of the entire team wearing orange in support of efforts to reduce gun violence. This story is a bit dated. It's already up. Every town is said in a statement the team will release a photo of the Mets front office staff wearing orange in support of the campaign as they have armed bodyguards around them, but you don't get the right. Other anti-gun celebrities such as Sarah Silverman posted it, posed in orange and said I'm wearing the first ever National Gun Violence Awareing Day. Awareness Day. Join me. Hey, I'll join you, you stupid trollop. Guess who else wears orange and would likely support gun control? Violent prison inmates who are about to be released. The laws that foretold the carrying of arms disarm only those who are neither inclined nor determined to commit crimes. Caesar Basiera wrote an essay on crimes and punishments, a quote which was later influenced by Thomas Jefferson. You might know him as a president. Such laws make things worse for the assaulted and better for the assailants. They serve rather to encourage than to prevent homicides, for an unarmed man may be attacked with greater confidence than an armed man, or as I like to say, the quote, an armed society is a polite society. Did you see how tiny Christelle was? Yeah, you could probably take her. Guess what? She supports the Second Amendment. Bet you can't take her now. In other words, a disarmed population is at the mercy of those with arms, just like a prison population, which is at the mercy of armed guards. So it's actually quite fitting that anti-gun activists would dress like disarmed prisoners to push gun control. I agree in every way, and that's why the Mets get the dumb the other day. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGangie signing off, reminding you to go to TheMediaSpeaks.com and look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. We are posting all of the time. Uh, leave comments, subscribe, whenever you do those kinds of things. It helps us greatly. And if you want to donate to the show, then make sure you do so at thecorrectviewsofhotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. Good night, friends. God bless.